Good morning, Guardians. How are we on this fine Friday? Good. Excellent. That's amazing. Well, he's in. He's in the tower hangar this week, actually, surprisingly. He's not in front of the speaker or in the reef. We've got Patience and Time, Exotic Sniper Rifle, Void Fang Vestments for the Warlock. We have Crest of Alpha Lupi, as if you haven't seen enough of these already, for the Hunter. And Immolation Fists, Gauntlets for the Titans. And we've got Budaladum, Legacy Engrams again. That's a bit sad, but never mind. Weapon Ornaments, we've got Prototype. This is for the Exotic Rocket Launcher, Truth. And it's very nice, if I say so myself. And then we've got Iconoclast, a weapon ornament for the Exotic Shotgun, Invective. Now we've got Arc Damage, of course, for the Patience and Time. Field Choke, more range and impact, increased recoil, CQB ballistics, greatly reduced recoil, significant penalty to range, and aggressive ballistics, more predictable recoil, enhanced impact, shorter range but more recoil, and a slap on the thigh. Uh, third Eye, radar stays active while aiming down this weapon sight, that's very useful for a variety of different reasons, and uh, custom optics, precision glass for low zoom wider view, fitted stock for increased stability, field scout which increases your carry ammo capacity and the exotic perk patience and time you'll gain active camouflage while aiming down the sights what does this mean active camouflage um it's not a ghillie suit like you've got all the cloth on the uh, on the uh, scope there this is uh, invisibility you will be invisible whilst aiming down the sights for a short period of time which on larger maps uh, in pvp is actually quite useful because let's face it it's quite easy to spot an invisible guardian in, in Destiny, isn't it, really? To, well, at least to the trained eye. I mean, that kind of um, mechanic is also quite beneficial in PvE as well, while you're taking out your uh, your enemies from afar. And, of course, in, in in close quarters as well, provided the enemies didn't see you go invisible in the first place. So uh, if, you're, if you've got plenty of strange coins to spare and you've never tried the patience and time, then I suggest don't have any patience or time and just pick it up straight away. Anyway, moving on, the next on the list is Void Fang Vestments for the Warlocks. Now, I'm on my Titan this week, so we're going to have no preview available. But anyway, the exotic perk is Hungering Void. Spawned with full grenade energy and your Axiom Bolt grenade spawns an additional Seeker. Very, very potent, if I don't say so myself. Increased discipline, increased strength on this particular chest piece for on sale. Uh, hand cannon ammo increases the amount of hand cannon ammo. Shotgun ammo booster, as well as a void burn defense and increased armor when using a void based subclass. This chest piece was in year one, was the go to for a Sun Singer, simply because you would get a firebolt on spawn. Uh, and it's still quite potent now, just unfortunately, Sun Singer is not as strong as it used to be. So uh, this chest piece has a little bit more bearing on the uh, what it was intended for, and that was for a Void Walker Warlock. Uh, having an extra Axiom Bolt, uh, a Seeker, is quite handy. And of course, spawning with a grenade, of course. But an Intellect Discipline roll is a bit more handy on that, but uh, you can re-roll. Uh, your stat, those stats with these glass needles, but more on that in a moment. So, should you buy Void Fang Vestments if you haven't got it already? Certainly. Crest of Alpha Lupi. If you're a hunter, a titan, or a warlock, you've probably been showered in these. You can scrub, you can pick up handfuls of these and scrub your armpits and clean your, your toes with the amount of Crest of Alpha Lupi, I'm sure. But anyway, what is it all about and, and why would we want it? Keeper of the pack. Revive fallen teammates and be revived. Faster. Supers generate an extra orb. We've got an increased strength and increased intellect. It's backwards. Um, roll on this particular chess piece, as well as a scout rifle ammo booster and a sidearm ammo booster. And uh, void burn defense reduces incoming void burn damage, as well as increased armor when using a void based subclass. So, is this any good? Uh, in my opinion, if you're struggling in 3v3, and you want to revive your teammates much faster, then this is definitely a viable chess piece. However, in my opinion, having a quick res chess piece can kind of cover up the fact that you're, it, it covers up the weakness of teammates going down. It's much better to not go down in the first place. Be a bit more um, spatially aware. Be a bit more protective of your life. So um, I'm not so sure that this really has much relevance in today's crucible in my opinion of course you're free to contest that so if you're skimping on strange coins this week i would skip this one by 
Immolation Fists for Titans. Exotic Perk is Accelerant unlocks the Sunbreaker subclass node Explosive Pyre for free. Enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fiery solar damage to other enemies. There we go. So we have these other perks available when picking up this particular exotic. Flame Seeker, your hammer of soul will alter its flight path to seek out your enemies. As well as fleet fire enemies felled by your fire ground, your bonus agility and reload speed stacks up to three times. So there are some extremely useful perks on that perk line there. So uh, by all means, these gauntlets are actually quite useful in my opinion. Are they going to be used more than say a twilight garrison or the new dune marchers for example in pvp probably not but um they're still a worthwhile exotic to pick up in my opinion we've got increased discipline increased strength we have rain blows increased melee attack bleed as well as momentum transfer gain bonus melee energy on grenade hits increased reload speed for hand cannons and machine guns ladies and gentlemen so uh, a discipline strength stat roll on these uh, I think Titans really do benefit from having intellect discipline, in my opinion. So, uh, yes, I think that the, the, the actual role on this one isn't particularly useful. Um, but, yeah, if, you're, if you've got plenty of strange coins and you've never tried these super-duper gauntlets, definitely worth picking up and adding to your collection of exotics, for sure. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up this week's Zer's Inventory. Slightly... Old school, kind of. It's like a cross between Taken King and Year One. There we go. Not Probably not what a lot of you are, are looking for. You're probably looking for those Ophidian aspects uh, for Warlock, perhaps. But anyway, that's the deal. That's what we've got. You look forward to next week for that stuff that you're chasing. I've been Story Machine. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to slap the indicator of the upward thumb. In the meantime, though, Guardians, have a great weekend. Good luck with Trials of Osiris. I wonder what map we're going to get this week. Anyway, take care of yourselves, folks. Take care of each other. And Smokers a Kipper will be back for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs>